I'm Emily Thompson, and I'm a florist based in New York. My work spans a range of different contexts and purposes, but mostly it is deeply connected with the living world. I got into flowers very much by accident, so I kind of just built my own way. I had my own ideas about what the flowers needed and what they deserved, trying to follow their lead always. They're really my teachers more than any other teachers. I'm like a tsetse fly. I'm jumping from one thing to the next because that's what the flowers are. They're so ephemeral. There's something beautiful about the fact that you build something grand and enormous or detailed and intricate and then it falls to dust. That's just an enormous relief to me because what it means is that I get to build it all over again the next day in a different way. Your cup is never full. You know, you're endlessly churning and pulling for more new thoughts through a creative universe. I don't have to hoist myself. <laughs> There's like zillions of flowers that just pull me through. I think I look for the spectacle of the raw. I want the work to be so raw as to almost be flayed. I think I'm trying to push something slightly over the cliff. The narratives that are sometimes invisible in the work, but almost always there in the building are stories of plants finding their ways and doing battle and soaking in sun and frying and desiccating and all of the stories of our own lives, the peaks and valleys. If the flowers and plants can reveal the things that they resist, the things that resist them, all of those kind of draws and resistances, it shows you kind of like a map of the world and by that token, a map of the heavens.